Hey everybody, Dr. Nelson here. Uh, this is a video about something called the degree of a polynomial, okay? So, so far you've learned what a polynomial is. It's the sum of monomials, all right? So, let's first figure out this, what the degree of a monomial is, all right? So, that's the first line of the notes here, okay? So, a mon uh, it says polynomials are classified by, by their degree, okay? The degree of a monomial is the sum of the exponents of its variables. All right, so please underline the word sum, all right, and then exponents. So over here we have 5x squared, right? So the only exponent we have is, is the x, okay, squared. So that would just be the second degree. So the degree of that monomial would be the second degree. But over here, notice we have x squared y to the third power, all right? So now because we have two different variables, all right, we have to get the sum of the two. So a plus three would be 11. So the degree of this monomial would be the 11th degree. All right, now we have our first binomial, for example, three, and then a trinomial, for example, four. All right, now there's a slightly different rule for this one. That's the second line here. So it says the degree of a polynomial is the same as the degree of a monomial term with the highest degree. So what you do is you look at the two monomials and the binomial, and you take the monomial that has the highest degree level. So here we have 2x to the seventh and 5x to the fourth, and the seventh is a higher power than the four. So this whole binomial would be to the seventh degree. All right, you don't add them, all right? And then here we have a trinomial. So we have 2x to the fifth, 3x cubed, and then x squared, uh, y uh, squared. All right, so the first uh, term, the 2x to the fifth, this would be to the fifth degree. This one here would be to the third degree. All right, and now this monomial, x squared, y squared, you can add them together, and that would be to the fourth degree, okay? And the fifth is the highest power we have, so the whole trinomial would be to the fifth degree, all right? So now they have a little better standing of just how to figure out the degree of a polynomial. Why don't you pause the video and try the your term problems now. And when you're done, hit play. You can see how you did. All right, good luck. All right, welcome back. Let's say do these problems, okay? So x to the fourth, that should have been the fourth degree. Here we have a monomial, all right? So we need to add the exponents. So three plus 10 would be the 13th degree. Down here, we have a binomial, all right? And remember, you don't add these together for a binomial. You just take the higher power of the two. So this would be the sixth degree. Here we have a binomial also, okay? And I'm gonna put little ones above these. So this term, the x, y, that would be the second degree, and the z would just be the first. So it's just gonna be the second degree. That would be the degree level for the bi uh, binomial. Here we have an x, y, and a z, and each variable has a power to the one. So this would just be the first degree. And then last but not least, we have three x squared plus four x to the 10th plus two x, and the 10 is the highest power we have. So this whole trinomial would just be written to the 10th degree. All right, how'd you do?